Hey, Mimir. Yes, lad? You talk kind of funny. Oh, how dare you, laddie? <coughs> Atreus. I I'm fine, father. If the sickness is returning... I swallowed a fly. Ah. Mimir. If I met someone I liked, how would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I... no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's... doesn't matter. I mean, you can yell at me if you want. They're leaving. And what would that accomplish? I make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You needn't be. The fault is mine. Oh, guess what? While Odin was giving me a tour, his ravens took us to Svartalfheim, and I saw Derlin again. He was actually trying to do his job. We pretended not to recognize each other. At least I think he was pretending. The point is, it looked like Odin didn't know anything about Derlin helping us find Tyr. Atreus, I saw Derlin again too. After we forced the spear, Odin appeared. He had Derlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. He really is a good liar. Mimir, Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. Now that I've spent time in Asgard, Strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or, just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother, I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline and having it thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Old. We will finish later. Lad, I've been trying to envision how Thor and Sif came to be such better parents to Thrud than they were to Magni and Modi. Here's how I imagine it. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi, that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. So, brothers, how did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually, <laughs> but it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad! A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. What a... Brilliant! Three legendary weapons. Do you have a favor, Father? No. 
They are tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. I like the axe. I too like the axe. Hey, Mimir, you ever notice Thor talk to his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Yeah. Is he, like, charming the steel or casting a spell or something? No. Just a weird bloke. Amir, do you know Gong? How was he locked up to begin with? Ah, Hell's Feral Sentinel. But believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Gar, then just a wee pup, got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter but before spring. And the word for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half Gufa. So, once we free both half Gufas and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half Gufa. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. I have to believe, in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. But, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed. Wise words. So, Mimir, how did they capture Garm in the first place? That was Tears doing. He ah! lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back. Eventually, he is a very resourceful god, after all. Why? am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, Ruth's great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Uh, is Throod who you meant when you asked about Viking? Throod? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. And, well, Skjolder likes Throod. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She spoke it, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed. <laughs> I know. It's good. I'm fine. Mimir, I'm not sure how to ask this. There's stories Odin told me, like how he lost his eye, where the details are different from stories you've told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about liars, lad. They lie. They do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. You must always bear that in mind. In here, when I was in Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjar. He seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. Though I wouldn't be surprised if with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. Brother, I've been meaning to ask. Your homeland. I've heard the gods there wielded every flavor of power you could imagine. Lightning, fire, the whole lot. As did I, for many years. Oh. Any chance you could recall some of that magic? No. I have tried. Ray said magic is bound to the earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably went with it. Ah. Uh, well, probably for the best. Let the past stay in the past and all that. Hmm. Come here. Why doesn't Thor look like he did in that statue we saw in the lake? Back when it was still a lake. 
It did at first. Then Thor saw it. The second sculptor was a great deal more complimentary. I guess that explains why Odin's statue doesn't quite look like him either. I've got an itch on my nose. You do not. I know. It's only in my head. But still, can you give me a scratch? No. It would only itch more later. Ah, you're right. Bloody undeath. Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet.